Cooper's home on oxygen for 11 days now. I just got home from working a little bit in my classroom trying to get it ready for meet the teacher in a few days and the beginning of the school year. A lot of you have been asking for an update on Cruz and so I want to do that and want to kind of show you what it's been like with him on oxygen. Some of it's been a little bit different than what we thought it was going to be like. It is so much easier than having him in the NICU and us having to go up every two to three hours to feed him and having to sit at his bedside to be with him and all of that. It's so much nicer having him home. It still just kind of feels... <sighs> That's his monitor going off now. But it's not actually alarming because he's low on oxygen. It's alarming because... We need to change the sensor so when i came home i was reminded of one of the things that's really hard about having him on oxygen is if you're home alone with him and he pulls his nasal cannula out of his nose and it comes off the tape and it's time to retape his face you can't really retape his face on your own you could when he was younger but now that he's older and a lot more feisty he moves a lot you can't retape it yourself and do a good job because it takes two layers there's like a protective layer that goes on first um, so that it doesn't hurt his skin quite as much and then a really sticky layer that goes on over it to keep the nasal cannula from moving on his face but the bad part is is that tape if it gets on his face and it does overlap a little bit when you take that off it causes sores and a lot of redness on his face and so you have to line it up perfectly and it's really hard to do that on your own without someone else kind of holding him down so it's time for us to change it and I figured I'd show you guys what it's like to take it off because it's kind of a process we'll see how Cruz does without oxygen for a little bit he's been doing really really well we're hoping that he'll be able to wean off of it we went to his doctor and the doctor said to just turn down his oxygen a little bit each day so he was on 0.1 liter or one tenth of a liter and he wanted us to go down to 0.05 of a liter and then just keep weaning him down and that's kind of what we've done and every time we retape his face we take it off of him and see how long he can stay where we want to as far as his oxygen saturation goes before we put it back on just to see if maybe he's okay and the last two days he's done better than he's ever done as far as his oxygen goes he's on hardly any at all and we just have it just a little tiny bit above zero right now and he was off it completely for a few hours earlier today and a few hours yesterday too so we'll just see how he goes another problem right now is that we're not able to get an accurate pulse ox reading it's not on him correctly even though we put it on him again this morning so i think it's going to be time for us to take all the tape off see how he does and give him his very first real bath now that now that he can actually have one i'll show you guys what it looks like and we'll get his pulse socks fixed. And I'll show you guys how we know his pulse socks isn't working well. This is what his pulse ox monitor looks like. And right now it's saying he's like 89 and 90. But that's not an accurate reading based on what he's looked like today and what this thing looks like. So over here is his heart beat it kind of goes with his heartbeat so this wasn't moving correctly at all so that's how we can tell that something's going on and then over here it tells you like how accurate it is and it's just not very accurate right now so while 90 is not terrible Cruz should be satting above 94 percent and today he's been satting around 99 98 97 and 100 so it's time to adjust it so this is currently what my little boy is working with because he took off his nasal cannula and he needs it retaped and we're hoping we don't have to retape it because maybe he'll just be good but he's looking so big and alert now my friends look at him and that is the problem because this little monster does not want that on his face this tape really makes his face red though so we have to use an adhesive remover wipe to kind of help take it off Oh my gosh that monitor i have to use this adhesive remover to kind of wipe it away to not mess up his skin as much as we can but he's still gonna be all red i know oh no baby oh my goodness that's so sad <laughs> Goodness. 
And this is why I don't like it when he pulls his nasal cannula off and we have to retape it because it is not a fun process and it makes his little face all red. Poor baby. I know, my goodness. You can see how the tape leaves his skin a little bit red. After we used the adhesive remover to remove the tape, we did use a saline wipe to wipe his skin and try to like make it feel a little better. Make sure that none of the adhesive remover stayed on his skin, but it just really is harsh. Huh, Cruz? We don't like that. <laughs> Today will be Cruz's first actual bath because he's finally doing well enough to wear we feel comfortable with him off his monitor for a little bit of time just because he's been doing so so well the last few days we're just going to watch his color watch his lips make sure he doesn't turn blue or purple oh. or anything but he's been doing so good with his oxygen that we finally feel comfortable to give him bath and take him off his monitors right now he just has this one cord coming from him which is to his pulse ox machine and i'm going to go ahead and take that off for his bath and then once we get him bathed and changed, we'll hook him back up to his pulse ox machine and see how he's doing to see how long he can stay off oxygen. And I'll share that with you guys too because, y'all, the oxygen is a headache. There's cords all throughout my living room. Let me show you. You want to show him all your oxygen? It's such a headache, especially when you have to pick him up and change his diaper or move from upstairs to downstairs you just really feel very anchored with him it's very hard to move around the house it's not just like having an oxygen tank either he's on an oxygen concentrator which is very heavy and very big and it's impossible for one person to move him and that up the stairs because it just wouldn't be safe there's no way to do it so coming from cruise all the time usually out the back of his outfits is his pulse ox monitor cord and his oxygen cannula and his oxygen cannula cord is actually 25 feet long and leaves this big just knot in our living room which makes my living room feel cluttered all the time and then there's also the pulse ox machine and a cord that comes from the pulse ox machine and has to go into the wall then we have the oxygen cannula cord that comes over to his oxygen concentrator, which is over here. And this is the thing that I was telling you guys is really heavy and large that we have to move. So this dial right here is how much liters per minute of oxygen Cruz is getting. As you can see, he is almost on zero down there. It's actually just a little bit below zero. I'll show you guys that it does go down a little bit lower. That would be low, <laughs> lower, but he's on almost the absolute smallest amount a person could be on. If you twist the knob, it goes all the way up to one liter per minute, but he is almost off it completely. I'll leave it like that just in case we have to rush and put him back on his oxygen during his bath if he goes too low. And then up here it is connected to a humidifier to help his little nose from drying out from the oxygen. But he's on such a small amount I don't think it would bother him. How do you like your first bath baby? Do you like the water? My little baby bear was not a fan of his bath. Oh, Cruz, you didn't like that very much. I'll show you guys what it's like to put his pulse ox sensor back on, though, since he doesn't have it on. And we want to see what his oxygen saturation reading is after being off it for a while while he was taking a bath. His respiratory rate seems a lot slower than it was originally, which is great. And he doesn't have any signs of being low on his oxygen saturation but we'll see how he does so this is what his old pulse sock sensor looks like this part you can pull out and then this is the part that wraps around his foot but these little things get kind of stinky and <laughs> wrapped around their foot so tight and then also they stop reading as well so we're going to switch it
we just got the sensor on his foot and we just replaced it and then it takes the machine quite a long time for it to regulate it looks like he's sitting above 94 percent even after having his oxygen off for about 30 minutes he's never been off his pulse ox before that was the first time ever and it's so nice to have it back plugged in and to see him sitting so high Good job, Cruz. It's ready to be off that. Cruz is all dressed and clean, and we fed his pulse ox monitor cord up the back of his little sleeper and out the back up here so that it's all connected in there. And Cruz is still doing great as far as his oxygen saturation goes, so I'm gonna leave his oxygen off for a little bit and see how much he can tolerate it. So the goal is for Cruz to be satting at 94% or higher on his oxygen saturation in order for him to stay off oxygen. If he dips below 94%, then we're supposed to start a stopwatch on our phone and see if he can recover and go back above 94% within a minute. And then if he can, then it's self-recovery and he can stay off oxygen as long as he goes back up. He's been doing better than ever today and yesterday, so I don't know, this really could be it with him being off oxygen. It really has been harder than I thought having him home on oxygen, not because we're worried about his breathing, but just because it's hard to maintain it all. For example, today after I was in my classroom trying to get it set up for me the teacher in a few days, I had plans to come home and make a new recipe for dinner that I found that I thought my kids might like but then after I nursed him he'd pulled his oxygen cannula out of his nose and now we're trialing him off oxygen so it's just kind of hard to plan what your day is going to be like everything is so slowed down when you have a baby in oxygen especially if you have to go somewhere because then you have to switch them over to their travel oxygen which is an oxygen tank and you have to make sure you take the monitors with you and you can't be away from an outlet for too long or the battery will die. It's just kind of a lot. At night, my plan was for him to sleep in the bassinet next to our bed, but with him pulling out his, <laughs> that's so cute, Cruz. With him pulling out his nasal cannula so much during nighttime, it's easier for me with having to wake up to nurse and wake up because his, oxygen is out of his nose it's easier for me to just have him in bed with us and we have a doc -a tot so I thought that I was going to put that between us and he would sleep in the doc -a tot but there's not room then to wake up in the middle of the night and nurse him in bed with the doc -a tot there too so since he's on the pulse ox monitor I might as well take advantage of it I guess and we've just been co-sleeping with him after he wakes up during the night so we put him down in his bassinet to begin with but once he starts getting really restless or I start worrying that he's pulling it out of his nose, then I end up putting him in bed with us anyway. And that's helped me get a little bit of sleep, even though I've been worried about that and having to keep putting it back in his nose all throughout the nighttime. And there was once that he pulled it out at night and I had to tape his face back as much as I could in my sleepy state. And that was hard. Other than that, just moving it around makes everything difficult and it slows everything down so so much i wanted to show you guys a little bit what it's like to have a baby on oxygen hopefully this will help anybody who is in the NICU and is talking about having to bring a baby home on oxygen and they're not really sure how it's all going to work because i know even though we had a lot of experience with it in the NICU and we did a lot of research we still didn't know exactly what it could be like for us so I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.